Yo, what's going on guys? So it's Wednesday and we all know what that means. However, this one's a special one. So if we go over to challenges, of course, we can see weekly challenges. We have a new set of weekly challenges, this one being week eight. However, this week, I actually don't care about the main reward. The main one for this one is this Rook Blueprint. Who cares about a blueprint? We can preview this right here. It's for the HRM. I don't care. We do not care. What's special about this week is the fact that it's week eight. And throughout all of these weeks that we have been completing, we haven't only been getting the main rewards. We have also been working towards a grand reward, which is this Rotten Inferno camo. And as you can see, we have completed seven of the eight weeks. And today is going to be the eighth. And just look at what we are about to unlock. This crazy flame animated camo, man. Ah, you guys already know each week we get a new set of weekly challenges and you have to complete five of them in order to get the main reward and also to complete the week meaning we will get this rotten inferno camo so that is exactly what we are going to do so i've set five of them tracked so that i can look at them in game first of all i need to use this back saw kit whilst in tax stance i believe I also need to get kills while sliding or in midair. So uh, I guess we can do that too, even though the sliding with this gun, or at least this build is not the one. Let's say that. Maybe I should just jump instead. <laughs> I'm literally just hopping right next. Oh, there we go. We got that one out of the way too. Now we also need to get double kills with the melee weapon. So on shipment, that should be pretty easy. Stay still, miss your shot, thank you. Oh, he's got a right shield. Yo, don't ruin this. Do not ruin this. Yo, this guy ruined my double kill. Actually, I think that might have counted as one. Oh, we got an advanced UAV, what? This is gonna make this so much easier. I may have counted as one, so now, come on, come here. There we go. Is that another one done? There we go, three operator melee kills done. So now we need to get double kills with the Jack Maglif equipped. And honestly, on shipment, again, this should be insanely easy what i feel like this week's challenges are a little bit easier than some of the others that we've had recently bro i will gladly do this oh that's already it done now we need to get long shot kills with a recommended weapon so i think what i'm gonna do is put on a shotgun and also put on the slug rounds which yeah we can take that off and then also put on the red dot sight which is what we need to put on the glassless optic just because long shots with a shotgun are much easier to get and also we're on shipment, so we can't really get extremely long range kills, but with a shotgun, it counts a lot closer than it would with an assault rifle. That was a long shot, for example, which would not have been the case with an assault rifle. And of course the slug rounds just to make it a one shot kill, even at those ranges. Oh, come on, we need one more. That was it, I think that was it. Rotten Inferno awards, I saw that on the right. Look at that, week eight challenge complete, which means we have them all done. Mastery reward, complete all eight. Oh, see, wait. So it's a mastery camo. I don't wanna hear any complaints. <laughs> so now if we go over to challenges, weekly challenges, we can see camo collected as well as this Rook HRM. I don't care about that. Rotten Inferno collected. So if we go over to camos, it should be under special, I believe. Yeah, it is. Wait, right here. Rotten Inferno. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh nah. Look at this thing. Look how nice that looks. Wait, this has to be one of the best camos that they've added to the game. Without a doubt, I'm talking about post-launch. This is fire. No pun intended. <laughs> We've even got it on a knife as well. So when he stops swinging it about, can we look at it, please? There we go. Look at that. That's nice. Genuinely, I'm actually happy with this because they've added a bunch of mid, let's be honest, a bunch of very mid camos to the point where I just didn't have my hopes high. I don't know if you guys remember how the last week eight, was it week eight camo last time? I don't know. But just for completing all of the weeks last season, it was the most terrible camo that I have ever seen, ever. Genuinely, it was so bad. So much so to the point where people were like, why would they even, it, it doesn't even even make any sense but they did it and i think they learned from what they did and the reason why i think that is because after that week eight camo came out last season when the new season was starting they ended up hyping up this camo right here at the very start of the season because people were so upset at the main reward being that terrible it wasn't even animated too so then we're like okay yeah we made a mistake let's start teasing this camo so they actually work towards the weekly challenges so they realized the mistake they made and made sure that it did not happen again <laughs> 
Get out of here. So, oh, it glows in the dark. Cause, oh yeah, this is sick. Honestly, this might be the fastest that I've ever completed weekly challenges. That was less than half a game. All the challenges required you to do was get about five kills each one, which is hilarious, by the way. Once upon a time, that's how the weekly challenges were, but then they just made them a little bit more difficult. Not necessarily difficult, actually. Just a little bit more time consuming. You know, it might be more kills that you have to get in order to complete one. But this one felt like how it was when the game first came out, which I I'm not mad either way. They were never difficult. If anything, I'm just really appreciative because they knew that I had to get this camo and they also made it 10 times easier for me. So I respect it. Season three is around the corner. We are getting Rebirth Island, which I'm very excited for. But also I'm interested to see how the rest of the content is going to be other than Rebirth Island. I think at the moment, that's the main thing people are very excited for, but I'm hoping for a couple new multiplayer maps as well. The weapons, we already know the weapons are going to be the Advanced Warfare Morse and the BAL 27, which should be really interesting. What the? Yo, where were you shooting at? Come on, man. Damn. I did play a lot of Advanced Warfare, so I know how the Morse was in that game. But in this game, I'm kind of hoping it works as a little bit of a faster sniper. Maybe like the Quick Bolt from Advanced Warfare, which was a variant of the Morse. The reason why I say that is because, of course, we are getting Rebirth Island, which I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of. And I feel like the only thing that is missing from this game at the moment in regards to Warzone is a fast firing one shot kill weapon. Sniper, of course. And when I think about that i think of of course the car 98k that weapon right there is just mine and at the moment we haven't really got a weapon like that so i don't know what snipers will do on rebirth island if they want to snipe so maybe the moss will be that sniper who knows it's funny because in the trailer there was a massive hole in the middle of prison that people were really worried about also the lighthouse got knocked down and you can use that lighthouse to run up and get on top of prison there were a bunch of dynamic events that happened in the trailer that had people a little worried because we all love Rebirth and we don't want them to ruin Rebirth and make it too much different from what it originally was. I wasn't actually too mad at the changes that they showed in the trailer. However, a lot of people were upset, but they did clear it up by saying, what? They did clear it up by saying, actually, nah, that's not how Rebirth is going to be. Rebirth is going to be just as you know it from back in the day. And the dynamic events that we saw in the trailer will be part of an in-game event that will happen later in the season. So if any of you guys were worried about that, we're all good. Don't worry. Oh, okay. The timeline was in a frenzy about that. It was hilarious. I think they know to not mess with something that a lot of people love like that. Fortune's Keep, yeah, they had a little bit of wiggle room to mess with it a little bit, put a massive earthquake in the middle. I don't think Fortune's Keep has the diehard fans that Rebirth Island has, so... Oh, really? Really? If they would have messed with that map, it would have been a little bit tough. What's also great is the fact that you can put this camo on the Modern Warfare 2 weapons as well. So I've got it on the intervention right here. Talking about the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, I do have a question. Although the Modern Warfare 2 weapons are in this game, do any of you guys use them? I literally don't use any of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons unless I'm trying to see if the camos work on them. They feel a little bit weird in this game, or is that just me? There's no way you could catch me running around with the Vaznev in there. <laughs> okay oh i don't know how i got that kill again though this has me curious as to what the week eight camo is going to be for season three right because they've only improved since the first one so is the next one going to be better than this one who knows challenge me again oh never mind throw that up there just in case Oh, cruise missiles got me. I got you, homie. Also, with Rebirth Island coming back, I don't think I really have much use for Warzone Mobile anymore because, of course, the only reason I was really playing that was to play Rebirth Island and, of course, the dance. Rebirth Island is coming back next week, so that's one thing. And then, the dance, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's fire. I love the dance, but if I've got Rebirth Island, I can wait for the dance, and that's supposed to be coming at the end of the year. So, Warzone Mobile for me personally, out of nowhere just got a lot less significant. I'm sure Warzone Mobile will be cool if you want to play whilst you're on vacation or... Oh! Wait, hold up. Get me around this corner. Come on, reload, man. I hate how long the reload takes. Oh, no. Where are you? Oh! Flip! 
<laughs> anyway, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. We finally completed all of the weekly challenges, which is good. And I'm so thankful that the new event starting in 23 minutes from now, at least at the time of recording this video, is actually an event where you have to complete different challenges rather than XP. So that should be much easier. I mean, maybe we could get a double upload today. Who knows? Before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo Man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. There's a bunch of really nice stuff on there and my code brothers will get you an extra discount at checkout so go make use of that i'm happy to finally have this unlocked man this has been a long time coming think about it that's two months eight weeks that's crazy and if any of you wanted to see how this looks in game which is the hrm blueprint actually that might glow in the dark i might need to see if that red glows but if not very basic i don't really care very much about this at all but yeah man thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one